Hey everyone. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Hopefully you guys are surviving the heat. Felt like it got like to 90 degrees today. I'm not sure if that's the actual temperature, but it felt felt like it. We'll go ahead and we'll get started in just a little bit. I'm gonna give about another minute or two for people to hop on and and we'll get started. If you guys could hear me okay, go ahead and put the comments, um, whether you can or not, just give me a heads up. Um, we had some audio issues last time, I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. So um, yeah, if you guys could comment that, that would be awesome. Um, let me pull up my slides here. And then um, if you guys could also, I'm going to drop in the comments here, the registration form. Um, so for those that are watching, if you could uh, go ahead and make sure uh, to fill this out if you haven't already. Um, it's just a liability waiver. We want to make sure you know that um, you don't diagnose yourself. All right? You shouldn't be going to see a medical professional, uh, whether it's a physical therapist, chiropractor, um, physician, somebody to get an accurate diagnosis. You don't want to be diagnosing yourself. So that's what the liability waiver is for. Um, I just dropped that in the comments. Um, and then also by submitting this, um, I'll have your email address where I can send over the exercise that we're going to go over today. Um, so you guys don't have to worry about trying to memorize remember, memorize that or anything like that. And make sure that you're doing everything um, correctly. So you guys can take the time to do that. That would be awesome. Um, and then we'll, we'll get started. Just a second. Again, let's take about another minute uh, for people to hop on and we'll, we'll go ahead. And if you guys have any burning questions, you can go ahead and throw those in the comments as well. Um, I'm going to be addressing all your guys' questions that, that you have throughout the workshop. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. See, so yeah, if, if you guys can hear me, let me know. Um, let me make sure you guys can hear me. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So if you guys are here to learn about uh, or having low back pain and want to learn how to fix that and how to be able to exercise without this nagging back pain getting in the way, then you are in the right spot. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Dr. Ben uh, with ProKinetics Physical Therapy and Performance. Uh, and I'm passionate about this topic um, because uh, it's just something that we see. I think it's probably the number one thing that we see in our clinic. I see so many people being uh, debilitated by it, uh, not being able to work out and enjoy life like, the way they want to. Um, they're not able to bend, bend over, play with their kids, um, you know, be able to get on, the, get on the ground, play with their kids, not able to work out, not able to deadlift, not able to squat. Um, sometimes even just difficulty with uh, sitting and, uh, and walking it and it's, uh, it's yeah it can be very debilitating we'll be talking about that in just a little bit too um, and I know I've, I've had tons of patients that come in and they're like you know I had do a doctor or my physician or another PT or chiropractor even say um, that you should they should just stop deadlifting um, and exercising doing exercises in general that are causing um, some of the pain um, and that it's just part of life and something they can really do about it. Well, that's, in my opinion, that's completely false um, and not true at all. And uh, you should be able to get back to all those things if you follow the right um, exercises and uh, get to the root cause of what's going on as well. All right? It's totally fixable. Um, and uh, I've had a lot of other patients that have came in and like, yeah, the PT that I went to, they just don't understand my drive to get back to deadlifting, get back to squatting and, and working out because they, they could tell that that PT didn't even exercise regularly and didn't even understand like the biomechanics of the squat, the deadlift, and how to coach them back into doing that lift uh, safely. Um, and a lot of times it's just, if somebody has back pain, a lot of times people, PTs and uh, physicians just give a quick cutter slap on, um, slap on that and say, oh, it's just because you have a weak core. Rarely ever is it, does a weak core play a factor in low back pain? Absolutely. But there's a lot of other causes um, with that, okay? Um, and that's one big thing that I want you guys to take away from this workshop is assess, don't guess. Okay? Um, and after I got, uh, got out of PT school, this is a 
topic that I've continued to study extensively um, because, like I said, this is uh, that story is all too common. Um, and these are the type of people we really specialize in working with and help hundreds of people get back to exercising and living their life um, free from low back pain. Not only that, but got them back to squatting and deadlifting more weight than um, they ever did before because we worked on their biomechanics and made their movements uh, more efficient. Um, if you guys are watching, I want you to comment you know, how long this has been bothering you for um, and also what you're unable to do because of it and how it's impacting your life, uh, such as sleeping and exercise. And I do this activity because a lot of times people, this gets people thinking because they don't realize how long they've actually been experiencing low back pain. Um, people are like, well, I guess I've been, I've been having back pain for five years now. I thought it was like five months, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's been going on for about that long. And um, so I do this activity yet to get you guys thinking and realize, you know, just how much it's impacting your life. Um, and for you guys to understand, it doesn't have to be this way, right? Um, and I also want you guys to comment if, how many of you are frustrated that you can't work out the way that you want to, um, or the intensity of your workouts being impacted by your inability to squat the way you want, or you have to have work around pain in one way or another uh, constantly. Um, this doesn't even have to be just regards to low back pain. Um, a lot of times other people have other issues that everyone like knee pain and, and shoulder pain and whatnot too. So if you guys have any of these other pains, make sure to put those in the comments as well. Um, but I want you guys to know that, you know, just because you're having this pain, this isn't your fault. All right, if you've gone to another, if you've gone, I've reached out to another prof medical professional, uh, was a chiropractor or PT or physician and, and they told you that's just something to deal with, it's their fault. It's not, it's not your fault for, for having this pain. They should have been able to correct, fix this themselves or refer you on to somebody that does know how to fix you, okay? And get you back to um, doing your everyday life activities and squatting and working out and playing with your kids and just being able to enjoy life without having this nagging pain. Um, so I want you to know it's not your fault. Um, and luckily there's a solution to all this. And it's a solution we've helped hundreds of people uh, find and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, tonight, right? Um, and again, this is going to be a super informal workshop. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and put those in the comments and I'll answer those as they come in, right? Um, so, uh, I just want you guys to have some uh, common background knowledge about the prevalence of low back pain. Uh, so, um, with regards to low back pain, it's the single leading cause of disability worldwide. Years lived with disability caused by low back pain has increased 54% in just the last 15 years. 80% um, of the population will experience back pain uh, sometime in their lives, and it's responsible for about $50 billion in health care costs each year. Right? So once you have, I do this, I mention this uh, stats because a lot of people don't think that they're kind of um, you know, abnormal for having low back pain. Back pain is super, super common, right? and you're not alone. Okay. Um, some objectives, other objectives we want to accomplish tonight is I'll talk about and identify the most common causes of back pain, effective treatment for back pain, strategies for pre uh, prevention of injury or decrease in likelihood of it coming back, and then most importantly, answer any questions that you guys have as well. Okay? So we're going to talk briefly about the anatomy. Um, the back and the spine is a very, very complicated uh, region of the body, and I don't expect you guys to be... Uh, classify as medical professionals or have a medical background um, after this workshop, um, but I want you guys to have at least a decent idea of what's going on with your bodies and, and uh, you know, what that, the anatomy looks like and it'll also, by understand, better, having a better understanding of the anatomy, you'll have a better idea of why you're having pain and how to fix it as well, all right? That's the thing is um, we do a lot of education and right? we want you to be independent. We want you to understand what's going on, all right, with your body. Um, and this is why I do this activity too, all right? So we have our low back, all right? So our low back spine, okay? Low back area of our spine. You guys can see, if you look at my low back here, you guys can see there's an arch there, okay? Everybody has that, everybody should have, all right? That's natural, all right? And so we have, in that, in that curvature of that low back, all right, we kind of have that rounding. Then on, from there we have stacking of vertebrae on top of each other. Okay. And the vertebrae or bone, in between each vertebrae, we have a disc. It's full of fluid. All right. 
And so when we have this natural curvature of the low back, okay, that weight is evenly dispersed around that disc okay, from the vertebrae themselves. If we start getting away from that and start rounding out too much, okay, which happens when we sit with poor posture. So you guys can look at my low back right now. You guys can see how I'm rounded out. Okay, when this starts, when we start getting this rounding out, then we start getting the curving, the opposite curvature. All right, and now the front part of this disc, okay, sorry, the front part of this vertebrae is pushing down the front part of this disc. And by doing so, what it does is it pushes that disc backwards, okay, because it's full of fluid. That vertebrae, again, is solid, okay, it's rock solid. And so that vertebrae is going to win every time, and that disc has no choice but to move backwards. All right, and on the back part of the spine, okay, we have nerves that exit the back, all right? And if that disc is pushed back far enough, it can rupture or push down and back onto some of the nerves um, that are exiting the back of the spine. And that's how we get pain rating down our legs um, and people that, I'm sure some of you guys have heard the term sciatica. All right, this is how that all kind of happens, okay? Um, so that's kind of the brief anatomy of the disc and the um, vertebrae. Um, but I also want to go over the musculature as well. So we have a muscle called the transverse abdominis. Transverse abdominis is like a built-in back brace, okay? It wraps all the way around the front, all the way to the back, and attaches directly to the spine, all right? And so if that muscle is being lazy or not strong, it can cause increased movement of the spine because it's not, that spine is not getting stability. When that spine doesn't get stability, that spine is going to reach and try and recruit other muscles that aren't supposed to be doing a whole lot of stabilization to provide that stability. And when the body asks muscles to do and act as a role that they're not supposed to be doing, then these other muscles start seizing up okay, and becoming tight and causing pain and discomfort. Okay. So I hear a lot of people that will just roll and massage and stretch the low back, which is which is can can be helpful, but a lot of times it's just a band-aid to the solution, all right? Um, because they're not addressing the root cause. Again, we need to assess, um, not guess, right? And we're gonna be going over an exercise or a test that we utilize as physical therapists to determine if somebody has a weak core, all right? So you guys will be able to determine if you have a weaker core and if that's contributing to uh, the pain that you're having as well, okay? Um, one of the tight muscles that can um, be provoked or irritated is called the quadratus lumborum. Quadratus lumborum is a muscle that attaches at the bottom of the stage and stands down and it attaches down by the hips. Okay. And uh, that muscle um, can become tight and cause a lot of irritation. Okay? So that's a brief recap of the anatomy. All right? So we're going to move on to the types of injuries. Okay? So, number one, the common thing that we see, especially in a younger population that sits quite a bit throughout the day, uh, or maybe also uh, doing deadlifts or squats incorrectly, is herniated disc. And we kind of talked about the mechan mechanism of injury with this. Um, you guys are like, probably wondering, like, is this something that, we, that surgery is required or necessary? No, all right, if we, can, if we moved it back, we can move it right, we can get it back in place, okay, by doing certain movements and certain exercises. Okay, depending on how the severity of it, okay? Rarely ever does it need surgery, okay? Uh, and then we have also um, uh, degenerative disc disease, and this is something that we see uh, in more of the elderly population. As we age, that, that size of that disc that's in between the vertebrae shrinks, okay? And uh, becomes, that space becomes, becomes a little bit more narrow, and it can cause uh, discomfort and pain as well, okay? Um, another type of injury is, yeah, muscle spasms, okay? When that transverse abdominis is doing its job, we get muscle spasms of the quadratus lumborum and some other muscles called paraspinals that run alongside the um, vertebrae of the low back, okay? And um, so, yeah, stretching and, and foam rolling and stuff can help with that, but again, it's not treating, treating the root cause. Another thing is piriformis syndrome or sciatica, okay? So um, we have a muscle called the piriformis. It's a very small muscle located within the glute, right? And it's located kind of like right here, okay? And again, very, very small muscle. However, that muscle will get pretty darn tight 
Um, if the other surrounding musculature, such as the core and the glutes, aren't doing their job, right? And um, so this that sciatic nerve, okay, that exits the low back, that can be pinched, pushed on by um, the disc, can also be irritated down the chain by a mus the muscle called the piriformis, because that sciatic nerve travels underneath that piriformis and can become tight and can press on that that sciatic nerve, causing pain and discomfort. Um, down the leg. And a lot of times this is misdiagnosed. Right? A lot of people think it's coming from the back, but in reality it's coming um, lower down the chain. Okay? That's why it's important. Again, assess, don't guess. Right? I see so many people that um, will um, throw darts, okay? throw darts blindly. What I mean by that, the darts being exercises, they go on YouTube and search what are the best exercises for um, low back pain. All right? There's such a large compounding factor of what could be causing low back pain that Nine times out of 10, those exercises are actually gonna make it worse or not even help, okay? Sometimes people will get lucky and find one that works, um, but a lot of times it takes time for them, to, for them to know if that exercise is helping or not. So they stop doing that exercise because they think, oh, I didn't get relief after doing two or three days of this exercise. No, you need longer dosage of it, okay? Um, and so a lot of people quit, okay, with the, with, even though they got the right exercise. So it's very hard to get long-term solutions by, you know, just guessing at what the problem is and hoping that these random exercises are going to help with that too. Okay. Um, so treatment, we need to find and understand the cause of of this and what's going on. Um, and then because we can do all the treatment that we want, but if we keep going back to the same thing that's causing this issue over and over again, um, it's just an uphill battle. Okay. And uh, we need to figure out, is it the way you're squatting? Is it the way you're deadlifting? Is it the way you're sitting throughout the day? Is it your work ergonomic setup? Okay. So the way you're sleeping, okay, there's a lot of moving pieces that could be contributing to the low back pain. Um, and so finding and understanding the cause is super important. Next thing is we need to, after we do that, we need to restore the range of motion okay, and decrease muscle tightness because the muscle tightness is what's causing the pain, but we need to figure out what's causing this muscle tightness. Okay, muscle tightness happens for a reason. Okay. Uh, next thing we need to do is strengthen up the right muscles. Okay. Strengthen up the transverse abdominals, strengthen up the hips, and strengthen up the areas that may be, um, may be weak. Okay. A lot of times maybe it's coming from, you know, is it, is it coming from the hips? Is it coming from down the chain? Is it coming up the chain? Um, so we need to figure out what um, areas are, are weak, if, they, if any area is weak, right, and address it. Next thing is lifestyle modifications, weight loss, smoking, nutrition, um, and uh, I'm not going to go in too deep about that um, today, um, but those are three things that we look at as well. And then acti activity modification. A lot of people get in the rut of doing the same activities over and over again. You want to make sure you're getting a good variety of that as well. Okay, So don't get stuck in a rut of just running or just, um, just doing CrossFit or just um, you know biking. Again, engage in a lot of different variety of exercises. Okay? Um, I get a lot of questions about heat versus ice, which is better. So I like to use heat typically, um, except if it's acute injury and it just happened and there's some inflammation going on, then we want to be using some ice for that. Okay? Um, and then, um, but generally if we have like muscle tightness, uh, we want to be using heat. Okay? Um, then I get a question about back braces. What should we be doing? Should we be using um, should we be using back braces or should we not? Um, and the, I turn that back to, you know, we have this muscle called the transverse abdominis. It's like the built-in back brace, okay? And if we, put a, if we put a brace around our core, then what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna make that transverse abdominis even weaker, okay? Because now that transverse abdominis doesn't have to work like it's, like it's intended to because that back brace is providing the stability. Okay. However, somebody can't like walk or can't even get out of bed, um, and the only thing that can allow them to do so is a back brace, then go and use the back brace, but we need to be strengthening up the muscles um, simultaneously. Okay? Um, and then, it, you know, most importantly is we need to also seek out medical professionals if, there's, um, if this issue isn't, um, isn't, health, isn't improving. Okay? You don't want to be going, you don't want to be keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping to get a different result. That's the, just the definition of insanity. I see a lot of people um, that just go on YouTube again and um, try and just guess at all these different exercises um, about what could be helping, okay? 
um, and never really gets the root, the root issue of it. And they live with pain that they don't have to, okay, because they didn't seek out help early enough. And then it takes, and then that process is uh, so much, that, long, that process is so much longer um, because they waited, okay? So don't wait, all right, especially if you're not seeing any improvements. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna do um, a self-assessment to determine how strong your guys' core is. So let me go ahead and position this. I'm gonna get a mat here. So if you guys have a mat, you just want to use that in the or two, that works as well. So this is one of the tests that we utilize as physical therapists in terms of the four three. This is just one of probably, when somebody comes in with back pain, this is probably just one of eight to ten different methods or um, assessments or tests that we utilize to figure out what's going on. Like we can see things with the ankle, knee, hip, core, up the chain of the thoracic spine, the mid back, and see what's between there. Right? Um, but we're going over the assessment to test what the core strength is. So what we're going to do is you're going to place your Hands under your low back, right? And from there, what you're going to do is you're going to push your low back in your hands. Just so push your hands into the floor, okay? Once there, now I'm going to bring my legs up here, straighten them out, and then you're going to lower our legs while trying to push our low back into our hands. Okay, nice and slow. You guys see how it's nice and slow, and all the way down? Okay, we want to maintain that throughout the entirety of the motion. Again, so we want to get put it up here and then also do the count. Do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay? So what I do is I put my hand underneath that patient's back and if I start feeling that pressure decrease, okay, or their inability to push the low back in the hand, and as they get lower, I start feeling that back kind of arch, that's indicative of the core. Okay? So I do it again, we want to be able to lower that all the way down. And I can control without losing okay, that compression, that uh, pressure of our low back into our pain. Okay. If you have pain with that, you know it's keeping pain as you got lower. Um, that's indicative of uh, the core playing a factor into some of the back pain that you're having as well. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's the, again just a test to determine uh, where your core strength is at that can be beneficial. All right, again, this is just one of many tests that you can utilize. Um, so we're going to go over some exercises as well. We're going to be going over a stretch to stretch out the piriformis muscle. Okay, in case some of you guys are having pain there, uh, we're going to go over an exercise to strengthen up the that, um, that transverse abdominis. Okay, get that to wake up. And then we're also going to do something for uh, low back tightness, okay, or like a QL stretch, quadratus and borum stretch. We talked about that muscle, how it gets tight. Um, and this, that exercise is also great for people that are having pain upon waking up, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to go over those. Reposition this here, all right? So, you guys are going to do your good. Go ahead and lay on your back here. All right, make sure you guys have your form of stretch. You're going to use your cross this right leg over the left. You're going to take your hands, face them behind the knee right here, and try to bring that knee to the opposite shoulder. Okay, you should feel a nice stretch in that right knee. Okay, I do the pull this for about 30 seconds and you can assess this. Okay. One thing you can do too is if you're like me and you don't like to do your work down, what you can do is you can um, you can take uh, six feet press and just focus on your knees. Okay, it helps the entire body relax making this step more effective. Right, so I want you guys to remember how, uh, how intense it was on that right side. I want you guys to do the same thing on the left. Okay, again, we're taking this left knee, we drive the top shoulder to the right, we should be feeling a nice stretch in our blue hair. Make that left hand come up there. You notice know the difference between left and right? It's a different pain that's in that here, folks. So you're having pain that multiplies the loose blue, or pain that's raining down the leg, most likely it's here. So a lot of times treatment can also be passive as well. So yeah, I give me 30 seconds. Um, 
next thing we're going to do, all right, if you have any questions, go get that in the comments. I'll check those out in just a second. Next thing we're going to do is go after uh, stretching um, that quadrants and more or the low back. Okay? Again, these muscles get tight, get that transverse balance and that one shot. You're going to bend our knees and we're going to start with small oscillations back and forth. Okay? Our spine wants to move in flexion, extension, okay? flexion, extension, and then also rotation. We're working on rotation to bring that up. And then we're going to slowly work our way down to the floor. Nice stretch, and go back. It's important to keep our arms up like this because they anchor down our shoulders. Again, that quadrilateral is a normal practice to have a lot of And you need to anchor that down a little bit so you can get a better stretch. You guys have a team with any of the nurse that I stop? Okay. Side of the team with any And uh, so, yeah, so we work our way down to the floor. You guys can move. Pause and you take deep breaths here if you want. You can get Yeah, this is a great exercise for waking up in the wake up in the morning if you're having quite a bit of low back pain. Okay? You can do like 15, 10, 15 oscillations side to side with that. Okay? Next thing is we want to try to work that transfer to balance. You can do is you can you can place your hands and move the low back. Remember how much you strength uh, we touched on the floor. Right? You're doing the same exact thing. You're pushing your low back into your hands. Contract for three seconds and then relax. Contract, hold for three seconds, relax. And when you contract, you want to be also breathing out. 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 Breathing you're going to contract in here, and maybe you also a little bit in the back as well. So again, that transfer is not a stretch all the way around the back. Out of back. And you can do about 10 to 15 reps, three sets, different time bursts for the two weeks ahead. Right. And again, you should be having to be clean with this. And relax. Right. Good. We emphasize that you shouldn't be having any pain with any of that, okay? All right, any questions on those guys? All right, very good. All right, um, and again, you guys will be getting um, these exercises sent to you um, as long as you filled out the liability waiver. Um, should have those to you guys maybe tonight, if not at the very latest tomorrow, okay? Um, all right. No questions on that, then we'll go ahead and we'll move on. Um, so I'm just gonna go briefly over prevention. Um, most of you guys attending there are, are probably attending because you do have already have low back pain. So I don't know how much this can apply to you, but prevention is listening to your body. You know, if you're having pain um, or discomfort, you need to listen to your body and, and um, you know, understand that your body's trying to tell you something. The body is very intelligent. You need to be warming up properly, doing cool downs, doing stretching when you're done working out. Okay, doing dynamic warm-ups like a light jog um, or air squats or something like that um, before you start working out. Um, nutrition, we want to be hydrated. We want to make sure we're not having this pro these processed sugars because that's increases inflammation throughout the body and inflammation creates pain. Okay? Um, and we also need to engage in a variety of exercise. All right? And then ergonomics as well are important. Make sure that you've got the right um, desk set up. Okay? All right. So that wraps up the workshop, all right? Um, is there any questions, guys, at all? All right, while well, I'm waiting for uh, questions to come in, um, let me kind of wrap up here. Um, like I said earlier in the workshop, you know, luckily there's a solution to all this, and it's a solution we've helped hundreds of people find. Um, for example, we had a patient that had been to his doctor and a handful of PTs and chiros that didn't help. Um, everyone kept telling him that he needed to strengthen his core and gave him some cookie cutter exercise he could have honestly just, in my opinion, been doing at home um, or found on YouTube. Uh, he then turned to YouTube videos um, and went down that rabbit hole and did every exercise under the sun that claimed to be um, the best exercise for low back pain. And he found out that none of them were really even helping. Okay? 
Um, it's again, because he wasn't injured, addressing the root issue. He was strengthening, he was doing all these core strengthening issues, these low back stretches, and that wasn't the issue. And the issue had nothing to do with his back, even though he was having pain there, all right? Anyways, he found us through a workshop just like this, ended up scheduling evaluation uh, with us, and turns out, yeah, his core was perfectly fine. And that wasn't, it wasn't even his back that was the issue. The problem was in his hips and, uh, and his ankles. Uh, and then after a squat video analysis, we found out his technique was a little bit off as well. Um, anyways, we worked on his hip and ankle mobility and uh, strength, and a little bit of strength in his hips. Uh, cleaned up his squat for him, and in just two sessions, he was, he was pain-free, squatting pain-free. Uh, he continued to work with us for a few more sessions um, afterwards, even though after he was out of pain. Um, so that's another thing too, guys. There's a three-step process that we utilize with all patients. Is one, one, address the pain. Two, Okay, find the root cause and correct that. And then phase three is to make the body stronger and more resilient so there's much less likely chance of you know, this occurring in the, in the future. Um, so yeah, he continued to work with us even though he was pain-free um, because he wanted to make sure this didn't come back, right? Um, and he ended up increasing his squat back, max by over 50 pounds in under two months, okay? Just by cleaning up his work ergonomics and squat form um, and fixing his biomechanics. Um, he's now exercising and squatting pain-free and stronger than ever. Um, so I want to get you guys to envision, you know, what your life would look like or what it could be like if you didn't have this pain and could exercise and work out the way you wanted. You know, how different would you feel right now if you could be like the person in the story that I just told? Think about what you're missing out on life, okay? All the things like, oh, I have to get up every, you know, half hour because my low back um, gets irritated from sitting for too long. I'm not able to squat, I'm not able to deadlift, I'm not able to work out the way I wanted to, which is leading to, you know, weight gain, um, it's impacting my quality of life because I'm not, you know, going out into social gatherings like I normally would. I'm not able to enjoy time with my friends and family. I'm not able to play with my kids. All right, it's more than just back pain. We don't get people out of pain. Okay, that's that's the easy part. Okay, things that we do is help people get back to squatting, get back to working out, get back to feeling good about their bodies again, get back to enjoying life with their friends and family, get back to playing with their kids. All right, the important things in life. You guys do not need to live with this back pain, okay? Um, typically, patients only need one to two sessions with us, and they know if it's making progress or not. If we're not getting progress in two to three visits, we need to refer you on to somebody else that can help you. And we have a lot of referral sources in the Bay Area, all right? We know we can't, we know somebody, if we can't help you, we know somebody that, that can. We're not going to waste your time coming into PT, um, you know, for 20 visits, and you're not having, making progress, okay? Um, if we're not, again, if we're not getting progress in the first two, three sessions, that means we're not doing something right. We need to, there's something more going on. We need to refer you to somebody else that can help you, okay? All right. Um, so I want to give you guys an opportunity. We've helped hundreds of people overcome low back pain and overcome um, uh, this time of, and over this time of working with people just like you, we've learned that there's a pattern to solving low back pain. Uh, and our time figuring out these patterns led us to creating our bulletproof low back and performance program. Um, here's kind of how the program works. We go through a current previous injury analysis, low back posture and alignment evaluation, and put you through a full body biomechanical assessment. Um, and do a squat, deadlift, or whatever exercise you're having pain with, and doing a video analysis of, of that. And then come up with a prescri prescribed plan of care um, from there. And I know what you're thinking. I just don't know, you know if this will work for me. I don't know if um, I don't have the time or the money right now or I don't think you know, physical therapy is what I need uh, to solve my problem, and that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna turn this back to you know, how long are you willing to tolerate this? Um, because I hate to be the bearer of mad news, but most likely it's not just gonna go magically go away on so I hear it all the time from patients that um, when they're done with physical therapy, that they wish they wouldn't have waited so long to do this. They're like, I missed out on so much looking back, I never really truly, truly realized how much pain I was in and how much um, it was affecting my life. So probably wondering, you know, how much does this cost? So to get the current and previous injury analysis, the low back posture and alignment analysis, the full body biomechanical assessment, video analysis, and then come up with the doctor's prescribed plan of care from there, it's typically 225. However, if you schedule today, you receive 50% off and get all this for just 112. All right. Um, this is good for the next uh, 24 hours. All right. So make sure, to, uh, and again, we only, we're only going to be handing out um, three of these a week. So don't wait um, to schedule, right? Um, but yeah, just want to reiterate, guys, this isn't something that you need to be dealing with. 
right? Low back pain is fixable, all right? No matter what you've been told in the past, it is fixable, and you can get back to enjoying uh, the life that you deserve and the life that you want, okay? Uh, you just need, need the right guidance and the right help, okay? Um, but yeah, if you guys want to take advantage of that, I will be dropping the link um, in the comment section below. Um, and uh, you guys can fill out that form, and then we will be in contact with you guys as well, okay? Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of your uh, Wednesday, oh, Tuesday night. See, with COVID and online, days are just blending together. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling the same way. Um, but yeah, so hope, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night, and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I'm here if you guys need any help. All right, happy night. Bye.